Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, August 8th, 2018 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, as I allow my feelings to flow, I let myself love make me glow. And I'm going to try to go through this fast because these internet upload times here are making me crazy, <laughs> but we still have a lot going on that needs to be addressed. So number one, moon in Cancer, moon in Cancer building into the dark of the moon, building into the eclipse, is bringing up all of the feels in the world. And that connected to the fact that we are still in this time of this increased wild yin energy. The wild yin has been <laughs> packed away for so long, and she's like, mama's home, let's deal with the feels. So the feels are on the rise. Allow yourself to feel whatever needs to come up and through in this situation, in your process, and then dip into your heart <laughs> in order to help move yourself with light lightly through these energies now it's very interesting that the emotional energy is on such an increase because at the same time we still have these strong mental energies going on in fact today is going to have a super super strong uh, mental feel to it as the sun and mercury come together so anytime planets are together they light each other up so mercury retrograde is being lit up by the sun it's also being pointed at in this yad yaddle energy that <laughs> we're yachting yachting our way through the world right now and in this yad we are releasing a lot of stuff a lot of pent up um what would the right word be a lot of pent up old rules and shoulds and foundational stuff and karmic energies that need to come up and out. So you may be feeling off and you don't know why you're feeling off. You may be feeling off and trying to analyze why you're feeling off. You may be overthinking all of the processes that are going on right now. Any and all of these things may happen in and through the day. My feeling is, is don't worry about thinking about it so much. If you need an aha, it's gonna come, but meanwhile, allow yourself to feel, be with yourself, allow this process, and keep coming back to the love process. That's what the Yad is doing. It is pointing at the sun. It is pointing at the Leo energy, saying, you have to find a way to love yourself through this. Find the joy, find the good in and through the lessons, find the love for yourself, practice that art of self-care, and that's gonna really help you. Now, another thing that I've been seeing a lot of in my practice and in my life and all kinds of things is a little bit of yourself versus the other. We have Venus in Libra. Venus in Libra. My friend Michelini said it today. Uh, Venus and Leo, us, 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 thinking about the us's, thinking about relationship, thinking about finding that balance. And then we have Chiron, Chiron and Aries, Chiron and Aries, bringing healing to the me. And so in this, ultimately, if you're bringing the self-love to yourself, the us is going to flow. But if you do not have the self-love, if you are not caring for yourself, I think there may be a little tug of war going on between the me and the us in and through these energies. So Chiron and Aries is telling you, you must bring the self-love to yourself. Chiron and Aries asks you to drop that self-love all the way down to the soul level. <laughs> um, and then you can find that harmony. And self-care is going to be your pathway in and through this. Ooh. Besides that, we also have Grand Trine in water energy going on. Like almost exact Grand Trine in water between the moon in Cancer, Jupiter in Scorpio, Neptune in Pisces. Again, the feels are coming up, but so is your intuition. And your intuition, if you can sink into the shadows of the feels, your intuition is going to show you the way to move through this. My feeling is, again, going back to the self-nurturing. Another opposition push and pull that we may have, not may have, that we have going on through the day is the moon opposite Saturn. Moon in Cancer asking us to find, find a place that's comfort in this discomfort of all that's going on. Like, can you make yourself comfortable to process the painful energies, the shadow energies that are coming up? Or are you going to get into production mode and try to avoid it? That is something that came up super strong for me the other night. I realized that over these last two and a half years, there's been a lot of intensity. As soon as I got on that twin flame path, it like started whipping me around. So the last two and a half years, <laughs> major intensity. And I did a ton of work, a ton of work. 
And yet, at the same time, I stayed pretty busy the whole time. And I didn't sit too much with any of the feelings. Or I sat with them, but not enough. And so some of those latent feelings are coming up now to be processed. So <laughs> watch your busyness. You may have a reason to be busy. It may be even good things. I was dancing. I was doing yoga. I was doing processing and healing work. But what I needed was to settle in. And that may be exactly what your soul needs at this time. So just be aware of that. I think I am going to leave it at that for today. So let me show you the cards. Um, these actually all like kind of just fell out and I was like, oh my god, these are so perfect. I have to do this. Our job is to be in the feeling. This is the Empress card. Be in the feeling energy. Yes, that may feel conditional. You may not feel that you are able to do that. You may feel Fight that with all your worth, but ultimately your participation in that is going to help you push through these energies and through this eclipse and through these seven retrogrades and everything else that's going on right now, Lionsgate, whatever. Dip into your heart. Your heart is the way through. Your heart is the glow flow through. And speaking of the glow flow through, I pulled Heartfire. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but oh, let's see. I'm going to read starting here. You are learning to ride the waves of passion through eruptions of heat and descent into coolness, bearing the absence of fire only to realize it's returning to you again. Ride its waves, knowing that passionate bliss will always return to the heart that is on fire with love for life. The coolness allows us to experience the heat. Once you realize the fire emerges from within you, will ebb and flow, you will trust in its presence. You will realize that whether your passionate fire is obvious, drawing you into life, or dwelling quietly within, gaining power from the deepest sources of your being, soon to rise once more. It is constant in your heart. Accept the fire of your heart and know that this is how you are meant to be, on fire with love for all that is. This oracle brings a message for you. Trust the passion and the fire of your heart to guide your decisions now. What would make you feel most alive? Choose that. If you are feeling a lack of genuine passion in your life, take comfort that it is awakening in your own heart now, bringing something that has been long in rest back to life. So, there's that. So, uh, you can book a reading. Email mimiclark at gmail.com or email agentoflight222 at gmail.com if you would like a reading from Joe. He's very psychic and doing really good work. Um better it gets the better it gets. Good luck with all of this and there is enough love in the world for you. Namaste.